You know what, ninjas? If by the end of this video, you still think the math you're learning in school is pointless, then I've failed you and feel free to never watch my videos ever again. Here, we're gonna use a real world example to change your mind, where I'm gonna use pre-calculus to help you get a raise at your next job. So let's just say that you make $48,000 every year and your expenses aren't far behind it where you're spending $45,000. So you can just tell right there, right, that you're making a net profit every year of only $3,000. Now, let's just say your boss gave you an awesome review and he's like, hey, great job, Ninja. You know, you've been crushing it. But I'm sorry, we can't give you a raise this year because the economy has been tough. Now, that doesn't really sit well with you and you're thinking, I don't understand. What about the cost of living that's creeping up and up? So your manager tells you, don't worry about it. Inflation's only at 2% every month. Now, keep in mind, I'm talking about monthly compounding here, not yearly. So with that being said, we want to figure out how to set up the formula that you saw when you clicked on this video and to see when we're going to get to a point where we are no longer making more money than we spend. For this expression here, the way I got this is 3750 is going to represent how much I spend per month. Since we're dealing with a monthly compounding formula here where it's monthly compounding at 2%, what I want to do is I want to take my annual expenses and salary and divide them both out by 12. So that gives me $3,750 for how much I spend each month and $4,000 for how much I make. Now, in case you don't remember this 1.02, all I'm doing is think about the cost of living every month going up by 102% times what it was last month, right? Well, as a decimal, 2% is 0 0.02, and we're just adding it to a whole number of one, right? And now we need to solve this expression. So by inspection, you can already tell that we have a power here. And that already hints that we should be considering to use logarithms. But before I do that, what I want to do first here is divide both sides by 3750, which will give me this simplified expression, 1.02 raised to the n is greater than 16 over 15. Now, the reason why I'm expressing the right as a fraction here is I don't want to introduce any approximate calculations yet until the very end, because this is a big common mistake that students fall into the trap for, which is you're going to have errors that you keep accumulating after each step of these approximations, right? So I'm going to delay all this until the end. And so moving on now, as I mentioned before, since we're going to use logarithms, I'm going to take the log base 10 of both sides. Using a natural log is totally fine, but that's just my preference here, giving me the log of the left, and the log of the right. So remember though, that with logarithms, there is a special property. And before I tell you that property, if you haven't already and you're finding value in this video, be sure to ninja kick that subscribe button below and check out the swag in the links below as well. So for this problem here, what you can do is because the 1.02 is raised to the power of N, the special property of logarithms is you can actually bring that N out in front. And that gives us this new expression. And what's really nice about this now is now that we don't have an exponent anymore, we can now very easily divide both sides by log of 1.02 to figure out what N is going to be in this inequality. So when you get to that step here and you evaluate this by finally plugging everything into a calculator, you're going to find that N is approximately 3.26 months. So that basically tells your manager, you should give me a raise because in about a little over three months, I'm just not making enough. And so if they give you another problem to solve like this 